Philadelphia, 18th December, 1799. An express arrived this day from Mount Vernon with a melancholy accounts of the death of Washington. An inflammatory sore throat carried him off in 24 hours. He had complained some days of a cold, rose on Friday morning the 13th, but becoming worse returned to bed. And although every assistance was immediately called, he died between Saturday and Sunday at the age of 67, perfectly sensible and resigned. At no time could the death of Washington have been matter of indifference to the people of America, but at this moment, when a rupture with France is apprehended, it is critical and unfortunate. He was appointed Commander-in-Chief of the Army by President Adams and with much difficulty was prevailed upon to accept on condition of choosing his general officers and the magic attached to his name, a magic greater perhaps than can ever be attached to any other in this country, was deemed necessary to keep the parties united. The marks of public respect proper to be shown to his memory are now under the consideration of the Senate and House of Representatives. Mr Liston and I greatly esteemed and admired the man and felt grateful for his uniform attention and kindness to us and it is with satisfaction we reflect on having visited him so lately and parted from him so affectionately. <laughs>